Hi, this is Harold Ross. Thanks for joining me in another light painting tutorial. This tutorial involves the inverse square law. That principle of light says that light falls off by the square of the distance. In other words, if we move the light twice as far away from the subject, we lose two stops of illumination. In light painting, we can use this law to our advantage by bringing the light in closer to create certain effects. On this photograph of an old scale that I'm doing, I'd like to place a beautiful highlight on the upper right edge of the outer frame of the scale. If I begin light painting it the way I normally would, which is uh, trying to keep the distance of the light the same as I move around the edge, we'll see in a few moments that the highlight is very consistent in brightness. I actually teach students in my workshops to keep the distance consistent so that they have more control over the brightness of the highlight and that it doesn't vary. You'll see that in the result, the highlight is rather even as it goes around the edge. Not terribly unattractive, but I think I can make it a little bit more interesting. So, I'm going to use the inverse square law by arcing the light in a reverse arc toward the edge. So in the center of the highlight, my light is actually much closer to the edge of the scale than on the outer ends. And that gives us a tapered highlight. So the center is much brighter and it tapers off beautifully. Here's the original highlight again. And then here's the one I created using the inverse square law. I think it's more beautiful it feels a little bit more round, and it also indicates the direction of light a little more clearly. So that's it, very simple. And remember to visit my blog for more tutorials like this one. And also remember, always rake the light.